are so many wonderful places to view the Golden Gate Bridge, and today I'm going to share a couple of my favorite with you. Today we're exploring some great places to view the Golden Gate Bridge, and we're starting with a drive up to Hawk Hill. These views are wonderful. Hear the coyotes this morning? The bridge is beautiful from Hawk Hill, but it's important to note that uh, there is a lot of wildlife here. In fact, we saw coyotes this morning um, very close when we got out to shoot, and they do tell you to watch for deer crossing as you're driving up. You want to stay on the trail because there is plenty of poison oak and lots of wildlife during the construction of the bridge. They actually built a giant net underneath, and it saved 19 men's lives. Clearly, this is the spot to capture sunrise. We're getting ready to walk under the Golden Gate Bridge. Come on. In 1933, construction began on the bridge, and it took over four years to complete this masterpiece. The vista point on the north side of the bridge is a great place to snap your pictures and just enjoy the view. A spot you should absolutely see the Golden Gate Bridge from is on the Golden Gate Bridge. Let's go! and we're heading under those famous golden arches. If you want to walk across the Golden Gate Bridge, just be aware, it's a 1.7 mile journey. That's right, the bridge is 1.7 miles long and 90 feet wide. It took 88,000 tons of steel to create this bridge. Chrissy Field is a wonderful place to enjoy the beach and see the Golden Gate Bridge. Not only does Chrissy Field make a great spot to view the Golden Gate Bridge, you can also get a clear view of Alcatraz. Presidio is another wonderful place to see the Golden Gate Bridge. This is a great place for hiking, biking, walking your dog, or enjoying a picnic. If you're visiting Presidio, you have to climb up the stairs and really explore. The Legion of Honor is an incredible spot here in San Francisco to soak in amazing architecture and amazing art. As soon as you enter the grounds, you're met thoughtfully by Rodin. The Legion of Honor houses a collection of over 6,000 years of ancient and European art, and it boasts great views of the bay. The Legion of Honor is beautiful, and you can even see the Golden Gate Bridge. Built in 1853, Fort Point is a great place to view the Golden Gate Bridge. Not only a great place to view the bridge, it's a great place to see some of the ships. Fort Point was added to the U.S. National Registry of Historic Places back in 1970.
Welcome to Battery Spencer. This is one of my favorite spots to view the Golden Gate Bridge, and I'm going to show you why. It is an easy and gentle 750 foot walk from your parking spot to some of the best views of the bridge. absolutely beautiful here, but it's important to stay on the trail because there's a sensitive habitat all around you. It might be a little breezy here, but you get amazing views of the bridge and the bay. Heading out on the Batteries to Bluffs Trail to see if we can get some great sunset shots of the Golden Gate Bridge at Marshall Beach. Let's go! So when you take this trailhead, you're going to hit two options. You can head to Baker Beach or Marshall Beach. And before we even reach the beach, we have some great views of the Golden Gate Bridge. There are a lot of steps leading down to Marshall Beach, and you need to be wary of the poison oak, but the views are worth it. I always thought the bridge looked red, but the official color is international orange. This spot is amazing. Now, the terrain is a little rugged. It takes some hiking to get here, but I think there is no place better for sunset at the Golden Gate Bridge. Thanks for joining me as we explore some spots to really enjoy the Golden Gate Bridge here in San Francisco. For more information, check out my blog at flyingdonmarie.com. And until next time, I hope you find adventure and encouragement wherever you are. Bye. Marshall. Yeah.